Okay, Miss Greer, here. Let's make the bottom of your bridge. These are the pieces that you have to make the bottom of your bridge. You have a couple options on how you can do this. Um, if you would like to make your bridge wider, you can make it three inches wide. This, because each one of these pieces are one inch. Remember, your bridge has to be two inches wide without any road surface. This is where you kind of get to make your own decision. If when you go to do your put your sides on, you want to put your sides on like on top, then you're going to want to make your bridge slightly wide or your bridge deck wider. If you're going to put your sides on this direction, you're going to want to put you can make your bridge smaller. I am going to layer mine, so I'm going to put this in the middle to make it thicker and reinforce that seam right there. That's just a hint because you can always put your beam underneath if needed to. And this would be the bottom of my bridge because remember the road deck surface has to be two inches wide without any obstacles. So if I have this like this, that will eventually be the very, very bottom of my bridge. And then I can take my beams. Come unglued. Okay. I can take my beams and put them here to reinforce it or here to reinforce it. It's kind of up to you. I do know that my bridge is only 11 inches long, so my sides are 11 inches long, so I need to trim these down. So I'm going to line up my ruler. We're going to tackle one piece at a time. Go line up my ruler with the 11 inches, and I'm going to make a mark, just a little mark, right there. And then I'm going to turn my ruler and use like the two inch line to make sure it's lined up with the edge of the piece of wood. You can see right there. And then I'm gonna draw my line. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with my other two pieces of wood. So again, we're going to line up where 11 is, make a mark. Then I'm gonna rotate my ruler and I'm going to use one of these inch lines and line it up with the edge of my um, piece of wood. Okay. And then I have one more to do. So we line up this side with zero, put an 11 right here, put a mark, then rotate the ruler, choose an inch line to line up with the edge to make sure it's straight, and draw. Now, I know mine is going to be 11 inches. If yours is larger than 12 inches, because these pieces of wood are really close to 12 inches, you might need to trim yours and you're gonna have to add on and then think later about how you could use your beams to reinforce where they would meet if you're choosing to make your bridge longer than 12 inches. But, and that also means then you would just be gluing these together like so. Okay, so now we're gonna cut off, I'm gonna cut off all these little ends. And again, keep these, you may need them later. Once they're gone, they're gone. So make sure you keep all your scraps. And if they don't have any glue on them, they go in your bag. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, well, that one just shot off the table on my floor. Now I have my three pieces of wood. The next thing I need to do, since I'm gonna be gluing this, I'm gonna have to put it on the project table, is I want to put my name on them. So I'm gonna get a Sharpie. And we're going to write nice and big because there's going to be 90 bridges over on those tables. You want to make sure nobody mixes anybody else's up. So again, your choice on how you want to glue these together to make your bridge deck. How I am going to do it is I'm going to glue two together and then put the third one on top and overlap the middle to reinforce it. But that is entirely, this, this is all how you want to do it. So I'm going to run, basically I'm making this just like I did the flat beam, except with two pieces instead of three. So I'm going to squeeze them together, make sure they're lined up on the ends as good as possible. And then I'm going to take my third one, and I'm going to, a decent amount of glue on here. 
It's going to squirt out all over the place. We have paper towels. Make sure you clean up your area when you're done. And I'm going to put this right across the middle of the seam. So this is the underside of my bridge. Like when this is all done, this will be the top of my bridge and my sides will go like I'll have my sides of my bridge like this. Now, that's how I'm doing mine. You could do yours three wide and then put your beam on the bottom if you would like. Like you could put this underneath it like so. It's your choice, however you want to do it. Okay. Okay, so you have your bridge deck glued and put together. Um, and this is the flat top surface, so you don't want to do anything to it. The bottom, you can go ahead and put your beams on. Now, you can put your beams, like, on the edge. You can put your beams in the middle. Um, it's kind of up to you how you want to do this. Like, you can put them all the way towards the center. You could put them directly in the middle. It's your choice. Um, remember, if you're using an I-beam, you want it to stay shaped like an I. You don't want it to become an H. Stack beams, your choice how you want to put them on there. Just make sure you have a reason as to why you're putting them on the way you're putting them on. So, I am going to put mine on the inner edge for this one. So, like, I'm going to line them up here. So I'm going to... Okay. So... I'm going to glue them on, and again, you could put them, let me see if I can draw. It's kind of your choice where you want to put them. You could put them, like, right up here. You could put them right along this edge. Ooh, jump on the table. You could put them along the middle. You just want to make sure that wherever you put them, things are even and balanced. So, like, don't put one on the inside and one on the outside edge. That wouldn't work very well. Don't put one on this other level and one here. That would really make your bridge off level. So as I said, I'm going to slide mine all the way on to the inside. The other bridge that I did, I put them along the outer edge. So it's kind of, again, it's up to you. And feel free to use some of the clamps to help you keep it all together. I got more clamps, so... We should all have plenty of clamps to use. There you go. Again, make sure you can see your name.